Hi guys, this is Airbnb Adventures with Jeannie. And I just wanted to show you that once you decide where you're going and you rent your Airbnb, like for example, I'm going to Scottsdale from the 4th to the 7th. Or actually, that's that right. I'm going from January 29th to the 4th. Okay, that's when I'm going to so search. Okay, and then all these things come up that you can do. So I've already got my place booked. Now if I want to do these activities, I can. For example, I've done Embracing Unconditional Love of Animals. And this was at Horses and Hooves in Phoenix. And it was a great activity where you get to play with all the animals here on the farm. They let them loose and you walk around and you pet them and love them. And this guy, Jesse, is amazing, and he saved all these animals. So anytime you're in Arizona, you can head over to his farm. And it's so fun, and he's so sweet, and he loves his animals. And when you click on here, it shows you right where it is on the map. It highlights it. So that's just a little bit north and to the west of Paradise Valley. So it wasn't far for me to go at all. And I was staying about here, and I just went there and I went to his farm and I put a heart on it because you can also love an experience. Like I love this one, you click on it and it will always heart it when you go to it. So you can click on it. If you click on any of the adventures that you're thinking about going on while you're there, it will open up a window and it will tell you all about it. Like unconditional love of animals. It gives you a video of what you'll do, shows you examples, pictures of the love for the animals. Then you scroll down and it will give you a complete description of what you're going to be doing and what's included below. And it will give you the directions and who your host is and how much it costs. And you can even contact a host if you ever want to negotiate or change the dates. And then you can book it right online, just like you booked your Airbnb. So let's go to another one. I've done that. I like to do it every time, but I want to do a horseback riding session. So what you do is you go down, there's hiking tours for me in Scottsdale with watercolors, there's hike to see ancient petroglyphs with donkeys from $50 a person. And it looks like you just walk the donkeys. That's so cute. They're walking them. How cute is that? That's so cute. You get to take the donkeys with you. Now, I would like to do that. So if I want to do that, I click on it. It opens up. It shows a cute little hike you'll be taking. And everybody gets to walk a little donkey. And then they're going to go to the mountains. Let's see if it shows the petroglyphs. Okay, there's the, a view of what you're going to do. And then you arrow click. And then it will show you the petroglyphs in the mountains. And remember, Indians and ancient people have done a lot of engraving and carving in the mountainsides. And it's just so cool when you come across it like that. And you're gonna be hiking and you see this little pond and you go up. And hiking is a blast, guys. And it's so much fun when you have an animal with you because it takes your mind off worrying and makes you really just focus on the little pet that you have next to you that you're walking with. It's more relaxing. Oh, that's so cute. I guess they bring water for the donkeys. So you do that, so you, again, I can scroll down and then it's $100 for a group, okay? So you just choose it, you click on it, and you pick your dates. Like here, here's the next date they have available, February 1st, okay? So I could go from 11 to two. And then it says that they're flexible, but they won't do it unless you have a group because I guess it's a lot of work to get all the donkeys out and everything. They used two donkeys and they said the whole family loved it. They saw the petroglyphs and the donkeys and then it gives you the dates and the requirements so you know if you can do it. And it says here that it's a moderate level activity and it says you can bring young children, but you have to wear hiking shoes. And then it gives you similar experiences here. Like I want to paddle board in the Arizona desert for sure. This time it's $30 a person. I click on it. And again, I'm on Airbnb. And here it shows pictures of what I'm going to be doing. Looks like fun. 
Okay, uh, it says it's an Apache Junction. And I will be there, let's see, I'm gonna be there. So if I wanna do it on, let's say the second on Thursday, do you guess? Okay, it says you can do that. So from 1.30 to 4, I could book it on February 2nd. It would be $30 a person, okay? And then it says you're at Canyon Lake, Arizona. And you meet your host at the launching area. Okay, and then it looks like you're just going to be paddle boarding along with your paddle board in the lake. And that they've been there for 15 years. And this is a picture of where you'll be. So you know where you'll be at. And they said it was an amazing thing. They love paddle boarding. It was unforgettable. The experience is a must if you have the chance. So guys, you know, you could pretty much tell it was a great thing. And it's only $30 a person. So give me a break. Paddle boarding for $30 a person in a lake like Canyon Lake. That sounds like fun to me. And um, what else am I going to tell you guys? So it's pretty cool. You can kind of see where Canyon Lake is. You can look it up. It's off the Apache Trail. So I just want to show you with Airbnb, there are different things you can do besides just staying at an Airbnb. And this is ra uh, rated five stars by everybody who did it. Again, I can click on it and save it. I can even save it to any of my wish lists. So since I'll be going January 30th, Liam days, I'm going to save it to that. And now it's saved to Liam days. So whenever I do my thing, and I'm looking at my Airbnbs that I have rented, it will show up in my trip. So I can go here, I can go to my wish list, click on it, and look, for Liam days, it shows paddle boarding. And it shows all the different places I've looked at and a place like that that I've stayed at before. And I've stayed at this house before, so it's giving you different places I've stayed. And the wish list I've made, like that was a fast trip to Scottsdale for Miss Barbie. This one was Scottsdale, Arizona, birthday. Um, so they give you different ones, you know, that wish list I've made. And now this one is where I'm staying this time. And this is one of the activities I'll be doing. So it's cute. You can almost journal with this. This is Airbnb Adventures with Jeannie, just telling you about the fact that you can go on adventures to do anytime you're on Airbnb. And it will also give you all kinds of cool ideas like this and it will map them out for you. So if you wanna do a Sunset Canyon ride and you're in Malibu, it tells you all about it and you can book it right on here and save it to your trip. So you have activities scheduled too. And you'll find all of that under um, the adventures, the Airbnb adventures, because Airbnb has places to stay and it also has experiences that you can do. And when you rent an Airbnb on here, it will say things to do right below it. Like I rented this one with Ryan and it will say things that I can do below it. Or I can just get on Airbnb and put in my dates and where I'm going and put experiences and adventures and it will show you all the cool places you could go. So there's a lot you can do with Airbnb. It's really cool. I find it so much better than a hotel. I think you guys will love it. Any questions or comments, leave them below and please subscribe. Bye.